Hello everyone, today we will talk about kefir as a fermented product. Our team consists of Arif Sobrian Esa Putra, Brilis Abdiriani Haq, and me, Nisha Lujana Hairani. So this is our outline for presentation today. First is history and characteristic of kefir, process production, quality control, and conclusion. Before we're going to talk about the history of kefir, we must know what is the definition of kefir. Kefir is fermented milk made from milk and kefir grain. Kefir grains consist of protein and polysaccharide matrix containing different species of yeast, lactic acid bacteria, acetic acid bacteria, and mycelial fungi. The word kefir is based on Turkish word kif, means pleasant taste due to overall sense of health and well-being when consumed. Then let's talk about the history of kefir. It's believed that kefir originated from Caucasus Mountains in a former Soviet Union in Central Asia and has been consumed for thousands of years due to its beneficial to health. Historically, kefir grains were considered as gift from Allah among the Muslim people of the Caucasian Mountains. Before 2000 years BC, the grain were passed down from generation to generation among the tribes of Caucasus and considered a source of family wealth. And since 19th century, kefir has become a favorite drink in Russia after Dr. Eli Machnikov revealed the result of his research on the health benefit of fermented milk products and lactic acid bacteria. Kefir became popular in 20th century when scientists first studied claims about their contribution to better health and increased longevity. Traditional authentic kefir can be prepared by culturing fresh or pasteurized milk with kefir grain inside the skin bag. This is the characteristic of kefir. Kefir is fermented milk products that contain low alcohol and carbonate products by kefir grain. Kefir can be categorized as functional food with typical taste and flavor. Kefir grains are a mixture of various microflora, mostly lactic acid bacteria, LAB, and yeast, which is symbiotically responsible for the fermentation process to produce lactic acid and alcohol. Kefir grain consists of complex LAB and yeast, namely Lactobacillus, Lactococcus, Leuconostoc, Streptococcus spp, and yeast include Cluveromyces, Saccharomyces, and Torula in a protein polysaccharide matrix. Kefir grains grow during fermentation process. Peptides and exopolysaccharide, the bioactive compound components which act as anti-carcinogenic, anti-mutagenetic, and antiviral substance were formed during fermentation. The characteristic of kefir depend on the duration of fermentation, the medium use, fermentation temperature, the type of lactic acid lactic acid bacteria and the yeast and the ratio of kefir grain with milk. The acid test of kefir is caused by lactic acid, some effort scans due to carbon dioxide and alcohol concentration from the action of yeast cell in the grains. Characteristic of gold milk kefir have pH value of 5.4, lactic acid 0.14% and ethanol content of 0.69%. The weight gain of kefir grain was 7.21% and the total of lactic acid bacteria was 1.64 times 10 rank 7 CFU per milli. Sensory quality had 4 of color scale white, 3.5 of smell scale kefir scan, 4.9 of taste scale not acid, and 3.5 of preference scale. The best Gold milk kefir can be produced by the addition of 2% kefir grain based on physical, chemical, microbiological, and sensory and sensory characteristics. Generally, kefir is made from cow's milk, but milk from Etawah Great Goat is one of potential milk to be made into kefir as functional food product. Goat milk is better than cow's milk because it has smaller diameter of fat globules and has low alg allergenicity. Goat's milk has different fatty acid composition because it contains high, higher level of short and middle chain of fatty acid. Kefir process. Kefir use back sloping fermentation method. At general, kefir process is divided into two types. 
The first is conventional process, and the second is industrial process. These are the flowchart for conventional and industrial process manufacture. Kefir manufacture by industrial process divided into several steps. The first step is milk reception and distribution. The milk that used for kefir production made from wool milk, skim milk, or part skim from cow, goat, or camel. The second step is milk storage. Milk storage do to make sure that milk used for kefir production should comply with low bacterial count, absence of pathogen, or inhibitory substance. The third step is milk pasteurization. Milk pasteurized at 90 degrees Celsius to improve its microbiological quality. The next step is mother culture cultivation and preparation culture. The result of this process is kefir green. Production kefir with pure culture to produce higher concentration of carbonyl compound and carbon dioxide to adapting kefir green. Kefir green consists of lactic acid bacteria and yeast that held together by kefiran. The next step is mass fermentation. Mass fermentation takes uh, 18 until 24 hours to speed up the growth of microorganism and metabolic change in milk composition. And then coagulum was separate from filtration process while the kefir is flow into jar to packing and store it. The last step is packing. Kefir packed in a glass jar and stored at 4 degrees Celsius. I got all this process from link below. If you're interested with, the, with this process, you can click link at the description box. Production kefir by conventional process. This process is very simple, different with industrial process. You just need to prepare kefir grain in one liter of milk. The first fermentation step is place the kefir grain into a jar by filtering it, and then you can add one liter of milk. After that, you can cover the jar by paper and let the fermentation step occur for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can separate grain from a kefir and place the grain into a new jar for second fermentation. I got all this process from link below. If you're interested with this process, you can click link at the description box. Next is the quality control of the raw material. First is milk. Milk must be pasteurized and stored in 4 degrees Celsius. The maximum allowed storage period of pasteurized milk before filling should not exceed 6 hours to prevent the contamination by microorganisms. To prevent increase of foreign object into products, milk supply to the plant should be filtered clean by milk purifiers. The composition of milk such as fat, protein, sugar that is used must be ascertained and in accordance with standards. Second, kefir grain. The kefir grain must not contain harmless microorganisms. The sterile microorganism shall be viable, active, and abundant in a product to the date of minimum probability. The grain preserved in specific condition to make it remain the microbial stability and prevent losing their activity. Do not constant washing the grain because it can reduce the microorganism viability. Quality control of the processing technology. Kefir raw material is gold milk. The gold milk given heat pretreatment. The pretreatment is gold milk was produced by heating at 105 Celsius for 5 minutes with steam sterilizer, then cooled to a room temperature at 37 degrees Celsius. Heating process needed to ensure the raw material is safe from pathogen bacteria. 5 minutes is optimum time to sterilization of the gold milk. If the pretreatment is much more than 5 minutes, it can cause changing in protein structure of gold milk. In fermentation process, gold milk needs to cooling down in 37 Celsius after heating process. It aims to increase kefir grain effectivity because kefir grain can work optimum in room temperature. High temperature can make kefir grain or microorganism in fermentation process is die and can start fermentation process. Is incubation temperature. The incubation temperature is an important parameter in the manufacture of the final kefir since it may enhance or inhibit the activity of a specific group of microorganisms. The result is the specific desirable or often undesirable flavors may develop. 
A good kefir is obtained with an inoculum size of 5% mass per volume and incubation at 25 degrees Celsius. But according to another reference, fermentation at 25 Celsius until 27 Celsius leads to an atypical product, whereas fermentation at lower temperature 20 Celsius until 22 Celsius permits the development of all, all the characteristic microorganism. Consequently, the cycle of manufacture should last 24 hours and consists of two steps. The first is fermentation at 20 Celsius until 22 Celsius for 10 hours until 12 hours, and the second step is maturation at 8 Celsius until 10 Celsius for the remaining 12 hours. Quality control of the final product. Final product quality contain of packing, shelf life, and warehouse condition. The first is packing. After packing, the crude of yeast is still running. So to ensure the final product quality, the container that used must be strong enough to build up the pressure. Or consists of three layers that allow the escape of carbon dioxide generated by viable yeast and impermeable to water and odors. For example, is glass jar. Second is shelf life. To achieve good shelf life quality of kefir. High pressure treatment for therapeutic application is not recommended. Industry usually use post-production treatment such as autoclaving, irradiation, ohmic heating, and high pressure treatment. Type of packing material actually make kefir have a long shelf life. Last is warehouse condition. Kefir should be cooling after fermentation process to 4 until 6 degrees Celsius slowly within 10 until 12 hours to ensure its aroma and taste. Storage of kefir for 2 days prior to its consumption is recommended for better sensory qualities and highest viable population of Lactobacillus caseri. Here is the conclusion based on the presentation. Kefir is fermented milk made from milk and kefir grain. Kefir grains consist of the mixture of the lactic acid bacteria and yeast. Kefir is produced using back sloping method, both industrial and traditional. Quality control of kefir depends on three factors. First, raw material, such as milk and kefir grains. Second, processing technologies such as heat pre treatment, fermentation process, and incubation temperature. Third, final products such as packaging, shelf life, and warehouse conditions.